Hey everyone, welcome back to new video. In this video, we are going to discuss about the new concept of shop floor in Odo 17. The shop floor is a production area such as in a factory and it controls all the functions of a manufacturing company. In Odo, we can say that shop floor is a companion module to the manufacturing module where the shop floor provides the visual representations of the manufacturing orders, work orders, and it also allows the employee to track the time spent on each work orders and manufacturing orders. So let's walk through the shop floor in Odo 70. Shop floor is a companion module to the manufacturing module. So let's see how can we manage the shop floor in Odo 17, which is one of the exclusive app in Odo. So whenever you make uh, any changes in the manufacturing order, you can see the reflection in the shop floor. So let's first get into the manufacturing module and here you can find the work center overview. So if you want to manage with the work center overview, we have to enable the work orders that would allow you to process the operations at specific work centers. Right. So here you can configure the work centers or you can also configure different work centers from the configuration menu. Right now, I'm not creating any work centers over here. So when you just back to the overview here, you can see all the work centers. And I got to manage with the, um, yeah, BOM of desk combination. So everything is all set here and won't be creating the BOMs from the scratch. So I'll be considering the BOMS desk combination with its operations, um, and components everything is shown here so currently you can see that we would be assembling the components from the assembly line one now let's create a manufacturing order so let me go to the manufacturing orders here i'm gonna create a new one so as i choose the desk combination as a bill of material every details will be automatically configured that's cool, right? Now you can save this and let's move on to the shop flow. Will it will be visible in the um, the station? No, this is because we haven't confirmed the manufacturing order. So currently the manufacturing order is in its trap state. So whenever a manufacturing order is confirmed, the operations or the manufacturing order with its reference number and all other details will be visible in this station now let's back um to the manufacturing center so i'm going to the manufacturing module and let's choose the operation and we are going to confirm the order so as i confirm the order you would be able to find um that i mean this order will be visible in the shop floor so let's move on to the shop floor and you can find that we are going to create or we have just confirmed manufacturing order and doing an operation of assembling the components from the work center assembly line one. So here we are going to register for one production, I mean register for one unit, which means we are going to manufacture for one unit of this combination. And here you can see the assignee, which means um, you will get every details. Uh, and this is managed by Michelle Admin. So if you want to add different work centers in the station, you can add that by choosing the plus icon. And this shows the selected um, work centers for the station. And if you want to add one more, you can just um, enable the checkbox and confirm. So as you just confirm, you would be able to see that uh, we have just added the work center in this station. And uh, now we have three routes and what to do with this work center. So if you want to just grab the product, you can do that. Or if you want to add a work order, you can add. So I'm going to add a work order and I need to polish the components from the work center assembly line 2 and it takes almost 2 hour to polish the item and I'll be scheduling to polish my components um, today itself and I can set the assignee 
as I'm choosing here multiple lasagne, uh, we can just polish everything in a simple and yeah, more effectively. And you can add the work order. So as I just added the work order, that will be visible in the manufacturing order. Okay, so let's move on to the manufacturing order. And under the operations, you can find the manufacturing orders and let's choose the one that we have created. And here, boom, you can find that we have just created a work order and everything is set here, right? Now, uh, let's move on to the shop floor. And in the shop floor, we can also add different components and open the backend MO. So, you can just um add the component so i'm gonna add uh, a component which is drawer okay i also need to add the drawer um of two quantity i'm going to add the component so as i add the component that will be visible over here and if i want to open my backend mo it's very easy to go to the backend mo so that you can see Currently, two quantity of drawer is added with this. So you don't need to just uh, go back to the, I mean, close the shop floor and go back to the manufacturing order. It's simple um, to manage with your time in the Odoo and Odoo makes everything faster. Now let's move on to the shop floor and you can see everything is set here. And we gonna just start the process. So if you want to just start the process, you can start that. Um, or if you want to close uh, the production, you can close that. So let me move on to the um, backend demo. And under the work orders, you can either manage this from here. So I'm going to start the work of, yeah, assembling the components. And once I have done with that, um, the next work order will be ready, which is Polish. So let's move on to the shop floor. So as you move on to the shop floor, here you can see that we have just made or registered the production for one unit. And now we can also uh, do with the drawer. So here you can find the details and everything. Uh, so if you want to import loads, you can set that. Or if you want to add anything, you can set that. So let me save this. And we are going to uh, process with the second order that is a book order. And let's start once the polishing is done for the components you can uh, set in and it's about close enough. So we have uh, processed all. So as we have processed all, we can just close the production. So if you want to close the production, you can just do that. So once we have done with the production, uh, we will get to close, I mean, we'll get a notification, like, uh, you will can see a badge over here to close the production. So if you want to close the production, you can just close that. And if you don't want to close this, you can click on undo. So when you just click on undo, that will be automatically, I mean, that won't be visible, invisible from this window. So currently I'm going to close the production. So that's cool. And as we have just closed, that will be invisible from our window. So currently, we don't have any uh, ready manufacturing orders. As we have just removed the filter, you would be able to see the MO that is in, in progress. So uh, if you want to just deal with those, you can deal that. And it's also possible to just scrap uh, a manufacturing order. So if you want to just grab the manufacturing order and you can add what product you want to just, um, yeah, in, uh, put into this scrap and you can set the number of quantity. And if you want to set a replenish quantities, you can enable this field. So I'm going to scrap the office chair black. So let's scrap it and you would be able to find every details um, in the reporting and all. So here you can see all the details. Now let's close the session. And when you just want the manufacturing, um, you can find the scrapped products 
over here so currently you can view the product that we have just scrapped so it's simple and cool to manage the different work orders from different work, work centers in the shop floor which makes our process more efficient and cool shop floor uses the functions of a manufacturing company so hope this concept is clear for you as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video